my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome to day one of vlogmas yes there is going to be videos there's going to be 24 videos over the course of today the first if you're watching it on the first to the 24th which just so happens to fall on a monday and then i need to try and film for boxing day but that's nothing for you to worry about and today's video is going to be the power of makeup obviously i know nikki tutorial she's the one who sort of came up with this half makeup half not makeup idea and i thought it'd be really cool to try it out on camera because i've always wanted to do it and i thought it'd be cool for you guys to see if you are following my instagram which is only caitlin yt the yt stands for youtube then you will have already seen what it looks like like a month ago or just under a month ago so you should follow me on there I don't know why I was doing that but also like subscribe and comment video ideas and let's just get into this video okay so I've already primed using the Alport ELF poreless face primer I got this last year I did a review on it I don't think it was in I don't think that was a dedicated video to the review I ended up doing it like out of the blue but I'll try and link it down below I'm going to be using a beauty blender for my foundation. Yes, it does look a little bit dirty. But I'm going to start off with brows because I always start off with brows. I'm going to be putting makeup on the left side of my face, which to you will seem like my right, but yeah. And then let's grab my brow brush. And my mirror and let's just fill in my brow one of the reasons why i chose this side of my face is because i've got this large spot here plus also this brow is better shape and it's easier to work with so it won't take as long that's that bra done and yes it was done that quickly also i did a review on the revolution pro brow pomade so if you want to check that out then i will leave it as a card up in it'll be this corner yeah because when it flips yeah it'll be in this corner so i'll remember to put the card in and now i'm going to Sort of shake my brows to make sure that I've not got any excess product on them. I'm trying to move a little bit closer, but yeah, so that's the brow. Let's grab my concealer brush and I'm just going to take some of this product on my brush. Also, I'd like to point out I'm using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade 010 Ivory, just in case you wanted to know.
I only really like to define underneath my brow. I know I did a little bit on top, but that's because I felt necessary, but I only really do underneath because I find that's where I make the most mess. Now, foundation. And I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation with Comfort Serum with an SPF 20 and the shade 100 Ivory. I'm just going to be putting a pump of this on my hand. I start. I always start off with a pump because then I can build it up, but I think things I'm really doing one side of my face, then I've probably got too much in my hand, but oh well. I'm trying to make sure I use up all the product so let's just blend this in with a piece of blender that's that's an extra layer for not a full layer but like a little bit more And there is my foundation done. And you can see there is a dramatic difference. <clears throat> okay, yes, and okay, yes, I know I've got more acne here, but I really wanted to cover up that one on my chin, so I went with that side. And now concealer, and I'm going to be using the Emmy Way Hide and Conceal Concealer in the shade Fair, which I believe is the lighter shade. And again, just grabbing my beauty blender, I'm just going to blend it in. Comment down below what's your most favourite thing you're looking forward to about Christmas, because I'd love to know. With me, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. And there is that base done and I'm gonna go in and set it. Damn it, I don't know where my favourite brush for setting it is. That's so sad. It's in here. No. Seeing as I can't find my favourite brush, I'm gonna gonna grab this large fluffy brush. And grab the MUA transparent press setting powder. It's no longer pressed for anyone who's been watching me for a while. Oh, 
also on why did I put that makeup wipe there I'm going to grab a makeup wipe and just quickly wipe off the excess foundation on my hand because I don't want it to get on my face and let's just apply this all over also for anyone who doesn't know I have oily skin so I do need to make sure I map my skin It feels a little bit sticky, so let's just add more. Also, let me know if you've um, if you watch Nikki's tutorials because I sometimes do, but mainly I don't. Okay, now that feels a lot better. That feels a lot more matte. It doesn't feel as sticky. Oh god, watch it go everywhere. I've purposely put folders underneath me so I don't get anything on the carpet because once I got makeup on the carpet and I had to scrub to get it out. Not good. Because I don't mind getting it on my leggings because I can get that off, but carpet? That's a different story. Now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow and anyone who's subscribed to me will probably guess I'm going to be using the Morphe 35 OS. Yes, this palette does feature a lot and I'm hoping for quite a few new palettes. I'm going to go for, I believe it's a spotlight effect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's spotlight. So I know you're supposed to transition but let's just go in dark and I'm going to grab that shade right here which looks like that. Super pretty, super shimmery, that sort of thing and absolutely love Morphe palettes. Wait a minute, I was going to apply eye primer. Ugh. Luckily I've only applied the littlest bit, so. Where did I put the eye primer? I've stopped my makeup to find the eye primer and now I can't find it. Oh, I was sat on it. Oh. Silly me. Everything keeps falling towards me. I'm going to be using the ELF or ELF eye primer. Which I will leave linked in the description box. All products I use in this video will be linked in the description box. And then I'm just going to blend it in with my finger. did I do that eye? Oh my god. It's half makeup, Caitlin. <clears throat> so yeah, I've just applied some to the eye for no reason. 
but I know I didn't tap off first, but I'm only tapping off because I'm about to do the inner. I'd like to point out I have asked for some Morphe brushes. I'm then going to grab another brush and I'm going to go in with a slightly lighter brown. Well, not slightly because there isn't a slightly lighter, but I'm going to go in with this gold shade right here, which looks like uh, super pretty. And I'm just gonna buff out the edges and I will tap off the excess because I don't need to. Also, if you guys ever, ever, ever need to email me for whatever reason, then you can do. My email is always in the description box. So then you can email me if you ever need someone to talk to. Because I'd love to be that person. Why can't I find the brush I use for the brown? So that wasn't it, that was gold, wasn't it? I think that was the gold. Or was this the brown? I think so. I'm just gonna tap into that brown and I'm gonna try and deepen it up a little bit. Okay, now that I've deepened it up, I'm going to grab a smaller flat brush. I'm going to I'm going to make this like a gold look. So I'm going to dig into this lighter gold right here. which is on the bottom, like how pretty does that look and I'm just going to pack this on also if any of you guys are wondering what that sort of clicking, clunking sound is that's my heating turning on, it's on the timer I 
obviously you can see that I shouldn't have gone here. But let's move a little bit closer. I'm just gonna grab that brush I use for that slightly darker fold. I'm just gonna blend the edges together. And I'm feeling that I've now gotten rid of some of that darker shade. So let's go back in and deepen it up again. And that is the spotlight done. And now onto contouring because I don't know where my bronzer is. And so I'm just going to be doing the one step, but you still get to see the power of makeup. And I'm just going to be using the Correction Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt, which I did a review on not too long ago. So. And I find that is just perfect, like the perfect, because it's quite cool toned. And that is contouring done. And I've just realised I've not put any mascara on. Okay, so I'm sorry it cut off. I didn't even realise it had cut off. Since then I applied basically I'd finished the contouring. I have applied highlight but let's apply some more because you can never wear too much highlight. You've got a pop. So. Oh, and also, I'd applied mascara as well. But for any of you who do. That's a lot better. For any of you who do have a channel, has this happened to you? Where it's just cut out. Turns out mine was because my phone storage was full. But luckily I've managed to sort that. And yes, one side of my lips does look different. Oh my god, I've not applied blush. So I'm just going to grab this powder brush and I'm just going to lightly tip in, dab into the blush because I don't want it to be too harsh. Why am I about to play it for that side? Silly me. And that's just the blush done. 
because I don't want to wear too much, but you see how blinding my highlight is? Like them. That's my highlight. That's my type of highlight. And then I don't know whether you'd have been able to guess by the difference in skin, not skin, in um, lip, lip shade that I used a red lipstick and it's the Tonic Colour Max 2. I don't know what shade it is, but it's, I think it's deep red. And there is a review of it in November sometime. Don't know when it was uploaded. But there was a review on this lipstick in November. so it will be linked down below and also I'll try and put cards in and now I have finished my lips I'm gonna grab a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna sort of clean up the sort of line going down Also, I got a bit of the lipstick on here when I wiped off the first time, so I was making sure. Okay, now this is the finished look. This is the makeup side, and obviously this is the blank side. As you can see, there is a huge, huge, huge difference. And obviously, most people, like, I personally prefer this side because it just makes my skin look a lot nicer but obviously this is my natural skin and I do try and have my natural skin as often as possible so that I don't break out as much so but my acne is stubborn for anyone who doesn't know so yeah and then I'm gonna spray it with the collection primed and ready makeup fixing spray I feel like I've got a hair there have I yeah, I did, but it was a very small one and I've removed it, so let's just set this. And also let's do right in the middle because I might miss some. And there we go. That is definitely the finished look okay now that's the end of this video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications so you know when i next upload and i will see you guys tomorrow bye